just want to show you uh, the air filter uh, this is an L200 and no there's nothing much to it but I just want to show you the inside so to the level 2 students you can these are the things that preliminary that you learn right at the start so listen that and clip that listen this one here and then pull it up okay lift it see it clips these two clips go in there all right I just want to show you the importance of uh, of an air filter I have an air filter with me here just pulled it out you can have a look at all this all right so the job of an air filter is what you see in here all this stuff would have gone into the engine okay so I know people that run their engines without uh, an air filter okay this is what the air filter does for you you might think ah I don't need it um, you know I, I can't afford it but this is what it serves you if this all this had gone into the engine I can tell you the wear and tear that would result would, you wouldn't like it so always always change your or your air filters they are very very crucial to the health of your en engine to keep your engine going all right um, every time you do a service please look at your filter change it change your air filter um, I know that we can have those ones that are washable that's fine you can wash it and put it back you know that's okay but I thought I should make this short video just to show you how important the air filters are thank you so when I have uh, a situation like this it's easy for me to get it you know a cloth or whatever and, and dust the, the insides but I, I want to take it out and clean it properly okay because this deals with the with the with the, the vehicle's heart which is the engine so I want to make sure that I do it properly so I'll loosen here and uh, go ahead and loosen take the second one again here see that on there So you want to pull it this side it's just pushed in so you wiggle it out that's it out so oh I was gonna try it look at this this is not good for the engine All right so the next thing I'm going to clean up I'm going to put water and clean it the reason why I'm doing that is because I I have a new filter okay so I want to make sure that the housing is clean I don't just want to put this in 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 the housing when I know that it's dirty no so let's so what you need to do now is get it dried don't put it like that you want to make sure that you blow it and go and get a cloth and dry it whichever way you dry it make sure that it's dry before you put it back but this way you know i find that it is clean and i'm happy to put the, air, the new air filter in so when you're putting it back remember that goes in there you have to secure it in there in order for for these to line up okay 
new filter goes in this way okay don't put it the other way it will not go in okay this it's it's, it's uh, it'll go that way okay at least I'm here I may want to point out that you can see that the the table is now the table seals are leaking you know so that's the sign this is our table here and the other thing as well look at the color of uh, brake fluid in there it's not looking good even in here as well in the in the reservoir for the brakes I didn't like what I saw in there you can see that that's not good I uh, remember we call this hygroscopic once brake fluid has got moisture in it it is said to be hygroscopic and um, the danger is that it can burst pipes under pressure so we will need to do change that so now um, I've shown you the importance of an air filter so I'm just gonna build it back again it's not rocket science but I just just wanted to show you that this is very important do not run an engine even for a day without it